home page. So I got there by clicking on the home tab. We can actually get started in the course now. So we've gone through in kind of a long winded way, all the options for navigating the course using the, what I'm going to call tabs along the left hand side of the page. We've read the instructions on the home page. Now we can talk about the buttons that run horizontally. The only reason I include these buttons is because I want them to have easy access for you. So you'll see that there's a syllabus button. It takes you to the same page as a syllabus tab. I just want you to have really easy access to that syllabus if you need it. There's a schedule button and if we click on it, it will take us to the semester schedule at a glance page. I highly recommend printing this page. We will follow it to a T um, very, very, very rarely and almost non-existently in online classes have I ever adjusted the schedule of a course. And so we're going to follow this to a T. So everything you need to know about the course um, is listed here. We teach this course on campus and online. And so you'll notice that the, the schedule will say like Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday. And so we set the schedule up so it works for every single section of Art 1200. So if you take it, take it as a Monday, Wednesday class or a Tuesday, Thursday class or an online class, you can interpret the calendar to your liking. This is an online class, and so you'll see that Monday, Wednesday, the first week of the semester, there's nothing to do because the semester doesn't start until Wednesday. But on Wednesday, it says, hey, do all these activities that are included in module 00, and then by Saturday, you must submit activities 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it also has a due date. It's due August 24th. During the second week of the semester, so you'll see week 2, the dates are August 26th to the 31st, you'll be working on module 1. And on the first half of the week, you should complete the learning objectives and the lecture. And then the second half of the week, you should work on the first project. And then due by Saturday, you must complete the activity, the project, printing, packaging, and exporting. That's project one. You'll take a vocabulary quiz and you'll do an activity that's called the importance of InDesign and packaging. While I'm here, I know I'm going to talk about this in more detail when I talk about the modules, but um, you should expect to have a similar pattern for every module. Some modules are one week modules, some modules are two week modules, but the idea is the same. So you'll have learning objectives and then you'll have a lecture that you can watch or you can read the slideshow. You'll complete a project. You'll do a vocabulary quiz. It's, it's meant to be easy. It's not meant to, to really be challenging. It's meant to pull out key information from the lecture. And then there'll be a discussion and that discussion is meant for you in your own words to basically explain what we just learned. Um, so for the first project or the first lecture, you'll explain why is InDesign important? What do we use it for? And what is packaging? And right now that probably means nothing to you, but after you complete the first lecture, it should only take you maybe 10 minutes to do that discussion. If we go back to the home page, there's a modules, grades, help, and email instructor button. I'm going to skip modules because I'm going to show you that in the next video. The grades, it takes you to your grade book, so it takes you to the same place as the grades tab. There is a help page. So the college has resources for help, and they are included over here on the left-hand side, but they tend to change. Like they'll, the button will appear or it'll disappear or it'll get moved. And so I made a resources for help page that you can use, and I've ranked them. So the first source of help is me. I'm your instructor, and if you need help, ask me. And I'll either help you or I'll point you in the right direction of where you can get help. If you need, um, if you need help with college stuff or Canvas stuff, the college has resources. So the number two, these are all the Canvas helplines. So if you're having trouble logging into Canvas or something's not working in Canvas, ask me first because I can check my own course. And then if I can't help you, you can use the Canvas help. If you need help, so number three, if you need help with college resources, you need training, you are having trouble logging into your email, you need to know how to register for classes, all that is here at number three. Because this is an Adobe InDesign software course, number four, uh, I've pointed you in the direction of resources through Adobe. And so if you need supplemental help or more often you just want to do a deeper dive in whatever we're covering, check out Adobe's website. They have tons of resources. And last and not least, I think the most important, by taking this course, you are part of a community. So don't be afraid to contact your classmates to set up a study session. You should message them through the Canvas inbox, or you should post a message on one of the, the discussion boards 
um, that we're working on. Don't be afraid to only post about what you have to. I posted my project, I answered the required questions, and I moved on. If you want to make a post on that discussion that says, hey, my name is Jessica, and I am new to college, and I'm wondering if anybody wants to start a weekly study group that meets on Thursdays, is anybody interested? If you don't want to make that public to me, if you want to do it behind the scenes, if you go to the Canvas inbox over here, you can send a message to the whole class if you want to and see if anyone responds. But take your education into your own hands. If you're taking a math class and you're having trouble, you can set up a study group with the other people in your class and you can practice all the things that you're learning in class outside of class. The last uh, button is an email instructor button. If you click this, it will just automatically take you to the Canvas inbox and it will start a message to me as your teacher so you don't even have to type in my name. In the next video, I'll go all through the modules button. So go ahead and click on that. And in the next video, we'll pick up with how to use the modules and navigate them.